pretty much everything I know about pirates I got from watching Pirates of the Caribbean. When we have movie night, Pirates is always a top contender. So when I asked my boyfriend why he was ditching me to play games with his friends, his response was, Sea turtles, mate. When I saw my boyfriend sailing with his buddies in Sea of Thieves, I knew I had to get a piece of the action. This might be my boyfriend's favorite date night game because it's the first one where character creation took less than three hours. It actually took like 10 minutes because there isn't much customizing to do. All the pirates look like complete ass and I'm still getting over it. Ugh, it's hideous! For starters, everything I learned about gaming capsizes because E is replaced with F when interacting with things. To someone with a little better hand dexterity, this probably isn't a big deal. Okay. But when we get into a skirmish, the top of the screen starts looking like this. Hey, Taryn. The enemy is here. <laughs> My boyfriend insists on using old naval terminology for maximum immersion. The problem is one of us doesn't know what the hell any of it means. Full canvas. <clears throat> Full canvas, Taryn. I'm so done with you right now. It doesn't help that on a good day, my boyfriend can't tell his left from his right, but somehow still knows the difference between portside and starboard. Okay, ready on the gun, starboard cannons? Roger. Or your other starboard cannons. Ugh. Can you talk normally, please? Seriously. It's a miracle I can find my way around the house with all this bullshit. <laughs> Our boyfriend-girlfriend synergies on full display. How are we doing? You're good. Okay. You got a lot of room. I'm gonna bring the sail up some more. Oh. oh fuck. <laughs> and stop. Don't worry, Captain. We'll buff out those scratches. You'd think the smart thing to do would be to just let me drive. But we tried that once and it didn't end well. Not sure. Oh no! Our ship sunk, boo. No! What happened? I was trying to get the loot. But the boat was sinking. <laughs> Nowadays, I'm in charge of charting a course and asking for directions. The good news is I have a lot of experience in this sort of thing. Let's just say I've gotten us to Chipotle and back with only a few casualties. I usually like to post up in the crow's nest with my spyglass and look for trouble. Let's see who we can find. Then, when I see a target, I give the signal. The most fun you'll have in Sea of Thieves is the skirmishes on the open ocean. It's an absolute rush in the moment, and I'm sure it looks great above deck. Unfortunately, someone has to keep this boat afloat, and that means I spend most of the battle bailing water and patching holes. Stop blowing holes in my ship! I barely get time to breathe before our next duel. I think we could take them. Gathering supplies is what I consider the low point of piracy. Every time we start up the game, we go through the same ritual of taking a million trips back and forth to our boat, because you can only carry like 10 cannonballs at a time. On top of that, I can never make the jump from the boat to the dock, and I always end up spending way more time on the ladder than I do actually loading supplies. I have a really bad knack for picking quests that make us sail straight into the wind. It's usually a bona fide Sea of Thieves kind of night when my boyfriend points the ship toward our heading and just gets up and leaves. Where are you going? Getting a snack. Okay. When you're sloopin', it's less of a problem, but our dumbasses thought bigger was always better and tried sailing the galleon on our first voyage. This ship cannot be crewed by two men. You'll never make it out of the bay. <laughs> ah! With no systems of progression or advancement, most of the dopamine comes from spending in-game currency on cosmetic changes. Obviously, I am into this. There's plenty of fun ways to deck out your character and ship. We can look like the Flying Dutchman or the Royal Navy, but usually it just looks like this. It was an ugly ship anyways. We're not the best of the game. But we feel really cool pretending like we are. Port side harpoon, please. Fire. Nice. Some evenings we sail around and don't earn a single coin, but that isn't really the fun part of date night anyways. All right, I grabbed all the cannonballs. Um, there's some good ones in those barrels though. Can you grab the rest of them? Yep. 
Thanks. Nick! To most players, it may not seem like much, but it's those little things we love. Ah, oh, shit. Here I go getting sentimental. Well, while I'm at it, it's hard not to grow at least a little attached to our ship. It's always nice at the end of an evening to give her the Valhalla send-off she deserves. <laughs>